Hello and today I'll be reviewing in for Marco De Vaio, the veteran Italian striker in the MLS. I think he moved uh, at the start of the season or last season and he's got an in form and surprisingly he's kept his pace. I put him in this team at striking 4-4-2 next to another Italian veteran, team of the season Di Natale, average age up front of about 35. I've already done a team of the season Di Natale review, um, I'll put a link in the description or something like that. And I had him in a 4-3-3 squad as well. He cost under 20k and this guy's absolute bargain. He had an inform on FIFA 11 who I loved and I loved the one on FIFA 13. So take a look at his in-game stats and he's got 92 curve, 99 finishing, 88 ball control, 82 long shots, 94 shot power. So really good shooting stats overall. And um, he's got 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves with medium medium work rates which is a bit weird. And his physical attributes aren't too bad either with 86 sprint speed which is pretty good and 88 reactions. And he's got 86 attack positioning. What I love about this card is he's just an out and out goal scorer. He just scores goals for fun. First of all his long shot is really really good. Um, I scored a few decent long shots with him and he's got fantastic shot power to make it even better. And if his shot isn't already good, he's got 99 finishing and that just makes him lethal in the box. He just turns a man and those one-on-one -on -one situations, 9 times out of 10, he's scoring. And he's got a decent left foot on him, um, 4 star weak foot's good. There were a few chances with his left foot where I thought, you know, if that was on his right foot, he could have scored. But his left foot, nonetheless, is decent. And his heading's okay, I didn't really see much of his heading, I thought it was okay. As you can see, he's got great dribbling as well, which is something I was happy with. He's got three-star skill moves, so, you know, he can do some turns, roulette, step-overs. That was a nice pass there. He's got decent passing on him. It's not amazing, but, um, you know, it's the average player on, a, on FIFA 13 passing. So he does get a few assists, few does get involved in attacks. He's also got medium-medium work rates, which I, I don't see why he did. I thought he was always in a great position to score. Like you see there, I know that was a cutback, but he did move back into a pocket of space where he can score. He's got that tries to beat defensive line trait and that 86 attacker positioning which means he makes some really good runs which helps him uh, get into space and score those goals, beat the defence and get in a one-on-one -on -one situation which most of the time as you can see he's going to score with that 99 finishing and that overall really good shot. He's not a weak player but he's not exactly a strong player either. He's got good pace as well on him you see over the top ball he can do, chest it down, nice volley there, brilliant goal. And that pace just adds to this card, it just makes him so much better. Um, you want a goal scorer, guys? Here's a goal scorer. He, this, he's just so good at it, and you just stick him up front, he just scores loads of goals for you. So we'll be moving on into his, his strengths and his weaknesses. First of all, he doesn't actually have one main weakness, uh, but he doesn't excel in strength, heading, or passing. He'll do the job there, guys, but don't expect him to be scoring loads of goals from crosses with his head. Don't expect him to be muscling pass players, and don't expect him to always pick out a good pass but his strengths are his finishing um, just, well his shot overall is good with his long shot as well good pace nice dribbling his attack position is great so he gets into some brilliant positions to score and the best thing about it is he's cheap he's almost discard price he probably will go down to discard price under 20k absolute bargain really really liked him so 9 out of 10 rating like I said he's a goal poacher gets you goals and really really liked him so Please leave a like if you've enjoyed this review or it's helped you out. If this gets to 40 likes, I will release a Team of the Season Balotelli review out tonight. So um, look out for that and uh, please subscribe to my channel to watch some more Serie A player reviews. Have a good day guys. Goodbye.